five tips to help you pass your driving test at Mulhuddard Test Centre. Make sure you watch number five so you don't make this horrendous mistake. So the very first thing I want to show you here is from Mulhuddard Test Route number two. So a lot of people in the comments always ask me, why did I do this here? So take a look at this short clip. It's a bus lane on the left there, so I'm in this middle lane. I'm gonna move over this left lane here for a position on the street. Would you do that, yeah? Would you do that, yeah? So why did I do that? Let's take a look at the RSA mark and cheat guidelines. Where traffic lanes, including the hard shoulder, are provided, an applicant drives for a distance in an incorrect lane for the direction which is to be followed. A fault may be recorded for position on the straight. Position at cross junctions. An applicant who intends to go straight ahead at the cross junction should normally be as close as feasible to the left hand side or the fault may be recorded for position at cross junctions. So when we're driving on a road with two or more lanes, the correct lane we should be in is in the left lane, unless it's a bus lane or a hard shoulder. So when that bus lane ended, that's why I drove into the left lane for correct position on the street. It also mentioned on the RSA market sheet guidelines, if we're coming across a cross junction, that we should be as feasibly close to the left-hand side as possible. So again, it's a cross junction, the left lane was clear, we would be expected to be in the left lane. Next, we're gonna be talking about progress coming onto the N3. So if you come this way in your driving test, the tester will be expecting you to push this on and get it up towards 100. Also, before you move on to the N3, you will be expected to do a lane change. So the tester will be watching closely, making sure you do your mirror signal and when it's safe to do so, a little look in your blind spot as you move in. There's probably no need to signal there. I'm still in third, I'm coming around here, I'm keeping the speed up because we're coming onto a road that's 100 kilometers an hour. I'm on the gas, I'm in the fourth. I'm gonna change lanes here, mirror signal, pick up beside you and just move in. And we're up to 100. So as you see in there, I was getting me speed up to 100, I wanted to lane change, mirror signal, it's only a look out your side window. Try not to do a big look behind you because that's not your blind spot. Just a quick look beside you, when it's safe to do so, move in. So next I wanna show you the Blanchetown Shopping Center roundabout, and in this video I'm gonna show you from two different directions. In the first one, I'm driving along and I'm gonna go straight through, and again, people always ask me, why did I go into the left-hand lane? So take a look at this short clip here. Yeah, the next roundabout, keep going straight, second exit. Lovely stuff, straight through, second exit. I'm gonna, that's still a bus lane on the left there. So straight through, I'm gonna just flip my signal, I'm gonna come into this left lane, then cancel signal. I'm going straight through, second exit, I'm into second, I'm off the clutch. Look to the right, then look where you're going. We see an amber light up ahead, red light. And the brake, clutch in, stop. So why did I do that? So let's take a look at the RSA mark and cheat guidelines. Where an applicant intends to take any exit in the 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock position, subject to road markings, the approach should normally be in the left hand side. So I'll explain what they mean in the mark and cheat guidelines. So if we're driving towards a roundabout, we always imagine we're approaching the roundabout as it's a clock and we approach from 6. So anywhere from 6 to 12 on the clock, we should be on the left hand side and around the outside of the roundabout. So that's exactly what the test I would want to see you do. Now let's take a look at another direction. So in Mulhuddard test route number three, I approached the roundabout from another side and this time I'm taking the third exit to the right. So take a look at this short clip here. I'm about to take the third exit to the right. Lovely stuff, third exit to the right. So once you hear it, mirror, signal right. We can see a yellow box on the ground. Make sure that blue black car clears it, yep. And if we're going to the right, over to the right hand side. We're not gonna block that pedestrian crossing, there's enough room, we're gonna complete this. I'm on a bit of a hill, I'll use my handbrake here, I'm gonna keep it enforced. 
mirrors. Uh, clean up. I'm looking ahead to the right. We can see this black car made a move, that's good. Looking ahead and to the right. Where's this white car going? That black car is blocking them. Off we go. And we're on the inside lane. Once you're past exit two, left mirror, left signal. Watch out for that yellow box, keep going. So remember we said we're gonna think about the roundabout as a clock. We're approaching from six, but this time, if we're going past 12 or to the right, this time we're gonna be in the right-hand lane and on the inside of the roundabout. So just take a look at the RSA marking sheet guidelines where it explains this. The approach should normally be in the right-hand lane for any exit after 12 o'clock position, or a fault may be recorded for position on roundabouts. If you're enjoying the video and you're serious about passing your driving test, why not join my YouTube membership where I break down the full marking sheet guidelines and I show you exactly what the tester is looking for. I've made it seriously affordable and you will be supporting the channel so I can make bigger and better videos. Click the join button on my page. Next, I want to bring you to one of the less explored areas of the Mulhudder test routes and I believe this place is called Hunts Town. Now don't quote me on that. Firstly, the speed bumps on the main road, they're extremely wide and hard. Normally, if I'm driving down the road and I see these kind of broken bumps, normally I tell people to drive over them in toward with very little slowing down. But as you see in the video here, the bump, it looks really wide, so I slow down and use second. So take a look at these two short clips here. Point shift it up. That looks very wide, this one I'm gonna use second for this one. Yeah, that's very big that bump, definitely second for that one. Same for this one, I'm going just, these look very wide. Would you use second for them yet, yourself? Yeah, I'm back in third. Also, when we get into that housing estate, it's extremely narrow with loads of twists and turns. This is really going to test your reaction to hazards and your position on bends. So take a look at these clips here. Where turn and right, where signal. Is this a T-junction or a right turn? No, I think it's a right turn. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like a right turn. Okay. Follow the road, please. And we're going to follow the road, stay on your side of the road. Try not to steer too early and cut that. Follow the road to the left. And we're bending left. We're looking around this white car. We had to stay in the middle because of this little blue car. Looking up the middle there, yeah. And back onto your side of the road. It's like amazing here, so I do recommend getting used to the area if you have yet driving test in Mulhuddard. If you want to see the full video where I do all this area, you can click this link above. And last but not least, I want to show you this really confusing one-way road. So if you took this like a normal right turn and you came across into the left-hand lane, it would make it nearly impossible for you to get back onto the right-hand lane and come back down the slip road. So take a look at this clip here and look at the road markings on the ground. I'm going to slip into second and just come into this very first lane here. Because we're taking the next available right. We're going to mirror signal. It's controlled by traffic lights, so keep an ox lovely stuff. And just look where you're going. Keeping your position in and back up to 100. So if you do go this way in your driving test, make sure you turn right, come into the first lane, and you'll be taking the slip road to go back to the test center. And again, we can see it's 100, and you'll be pushing it on and getting up to 100. If you want to see more Mulhudder test route videos, you can click this box beside me. Also, make sure you know your road signs and check this box here. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.